It is time for Taking Inventory. This is where we go over what we learned over this weekend, if we learned anything at all. Now, I got a couple observations here. I'm going to shoot them at you. You let me know what you think. Um, let's talk about against the spread underdogs. Underdogs against the spread, 8 of 13 have covered, including Thursday. However, only two were able to win outright. Is this something we should jump on? No, it's just something to recognize. I will say this, just taking a look at everything. We talk so much about the key number of three, right? It's the most common margin of victory in the NFL. So there's a lot of point spreads this week that were one and a half, two, two and a half. And those came into play and we're, weren't teams that won outright, as you alluded to, only two teams did. So you had like the Rams, Seahawks, the point spread mattered. Sunday night football, the point spread mattered. Broncos won, but did not cover. Things along those lines. So, you know, some people say, ah, just bet the money line, don't sweat it out, things like that. But the money line obviously has higher juice. This Sunday was an example. Maybe that would have been rewarded. But I laid the two and a half with Denver, so it happens. <laughs> it happens indeed. All right, well, let's talk about over-under. It's something we talk about every week, and there was this big um, – pattern we saw early on everybody was jumping on the unders i think it got all the way up to 63 percent almost and uh well we're back uh we're back unders nine of 13 games went under today is this is this something to look at deeply again so you're right it was in that 62 63 percent range last weekend that we finally saw more overs than unders but it was a one week <laughs> anomaly because we were back to unders and I and I and I didn't want to overreact. Moving forward, we're gonna have more unders because a starting quarterbacks are getting hurt, so we're gonna have Tommy DeVito. Although they went over, but you know what I mean—the gist of it. Um, as as great as Joshua Dobbs has been, like they went under, and he was certainly limited in some instances. But and the weather's gonna start changing. So, but the num the over unders of some of these games are low. About half of them are forty or below, or something along those lines. I'm an under player in general. I had the under in the Browns Packers uh, Browns Steelers game, so I look at unders anyway. But I think I've been saying if I already like an under, I'm going to press a little more because of the red zone defenses. And Mike Tirico mentioned it on the Sunday night broadcast. That things are so different in the red zone, and that's why we're seeing so many field goals. Denver kicked four of them. It, that's what we're seeing. So it's uh, it's you know. It's just what's been going on this season, so might as well ride that train. I'm going to still ride it, see if see if it works out. I'll let you know next week. Um, but overall, anything else that we're able to take away? Yeah, you know, yes, and it happens every year. It's part of the handicap the week before Thanksgiving, and and look, it can't it can't be the only reason, but I think it really was the main reason. Let's look at some of the teams that are playing on Thanksgiving that I was a little worried about. Look no further than the Washington Commanders: six turnovers. DeVito carved them up in Washington. Just a pathetic performance because they have they play out Thanksgiving. Now, they could have other reasons. They had a big game last week, maybe took New York lightly given how poorly the Giants have played right. with DeVito. But still, that was worth mentioning. Detroit, off the big win. I was a little worried. I had him in teasers. I wouldn't lay the full eight. They did actually cover the teaser, but they were down 12 or something, whatever it was, mid-fourth quarter. Because maybe it's a flat spot, quick turnaround, playing the lowly Bears, things along those lines. And then Dallas. So, yes, they blew out blew out Carolina, covered the double-digit spread, but it was a seven-point game in the fourth quarter. Cowboys converted a third and long. That changed everything in terms of the ATS outcome. So, yeah, Thanksgiving is the thing. I would also say the energy level. We talk about that throughout the course of the season. Don't react to what you last saw, recency bias, but a lot of that is the energy level. Look what we saw with the Jets. At some point, they are going to be running on empty. And I felt they were running on empty today. Had close finishes with a couple we the last couple of weeks. They didn't have anything going into Buffalo, and the Bills were fuming off the off the loss from last week with the field goal and the whole too many men on the field. And on the on the flip side, like I'm impressed with the Raiders' energy. I thought they would get just blown out because playing bad quarterbacks at home in back-to-back -back weeks with DeVito and then Zach Wells is a little different than going at Miami and facing that offense. But they brought it. No, no cigar Sunday. No cigars. No victory cigars. But I was really impressed. They hung in there. They gave themselves a chance. Maybe in the, if that was a McDaniels team, they would have folded like a cheap suit. But no, they, they responded. Pierce had them playing. And, you know, they didn't have a shot to win really all game. Maybe a little bit in the first half. But I thought they competed, and that was impressive. It so, was, it was, an energy level. And then the coaching is, continues to baffle me, the timeout usage, all this stuff. It's, it's getting out of control. It's malpractice. It really is. 
They're not going to learn it. I'm going to keep complaining about it. Eventually, 10, 20, 30, 50 years, 100 years, at some point, these coaches will have played video games right. and understand clock management and timeouts and things along those lines. I like it. If you miss any of any of our inventory, head on over to onlyplayers.com. It's all there. Analysis, betting sizes, it's all broken down. Check it out when you got some time. It's onlyplayers.com.